Hey, how you doing? My name is Andre Cato and welcome to this, the very, very first blog vlog for the new 12am website. I have been doing a lot of gear reviews on many, many different things for a long time now and this is the first time I actually am just starting to talk about not specific gear but about things that influence us as DJs. So what is a DJ? A DJ by definition is somebody that entertains with music. It's not somebody that specifically uses a turntable or a CD player or a controller, but it's somebody that uses any or all of these devices to entertain with music. So a DJ could mix, scratch, loop, cue, play, even talk in between songs, and they're still defined as a DJ. Last week, Pioneer DJ released, well, released an announcement of a brand new CDJ model. It's the CDJ 2000 Nexus. Now, a lot of DJs decided to jump straight onto social media and start complaining and voicing their concerns over where DJing is going because of these new instruments that are coming out, um, which made me think about things and how they how DJs reacted back in 2001 because when the first CDJ was announced all of the turntable DJs went oh it's going to ruin DJing because they're going to be cheating they they now no longer have to worry about vinyl tone arms the cartridges and all of the other things that went along with it and the really funny thing is that it's all sort of happening again and people were worrying about the gear as opposed to what they do as performers. DJing is a performance art, and it's really all about what you do to perfectly combine a set of music for your audience. It's not about whether you use vinyl, CDs, controllers, software, computers, or even you know iOS devices or you know, mobile devices to play your music. It's about how you construct your set to best look after your audience. If it worries you that DJs do use cue points, loop points, they work out the keys before they come to their set, they use software and other technical devices, don't be concerned by it. Use what you're happy with using. You know, if you're happiest and you think that all DJs use turntables, use a turntable. If you think that DJs should use a CD player, use a CD player. Don't be concerned by new features that come out that you're not used to. Uh, it really is very, very important that you use what's comfortable to you and what makes you feel like you can do the best job at performing and entertaining the crowd in front of you. It's not about being concerned about these new school DJs that maybe don't know how to use pitch controllers because they've got sync buttons. It really doesn't matter because as new gear is invented and audiences become educated about what is available to you as a DJ, the bar moves. So suddenly to become a top quality DJ, you need to not only be able to use all of this gear, but you need to know how to be the best that you can be so you can entertain your crowd absolutely perfectly. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter whether you choose to use whatever you choose to use. It really matters that you concentrate on playing around with your music in a way that suits your style and suits your audience so that your audience leaves every time you play going, I can't put my finger on it, but I had the best night. That's my rant for this week. Enjoy it. I will see you very, very soon with another one. Check out the new website, 12am.com.au. Go to this link and see you next week.